What's up, YouTube? It's Wi-Fi Memory here today, bringing you guys some VGC 2021 Series 10 action against a good pal of mine, Harold HD. Um, I'm going to be rocking out with my uh, Xernia squad. I don't know what he's going to be rocking out with. He just told me that he just finished building this team. He said it worked out very great in Showdown, but he wants to test it out against me. And uh, here we are. Um, we're going to let Harold, I guess this... I picked the rules. He should have Series 10. We just did a Series 10 battle not too, too long ago, so everything should be fine. But uh, last time I did a battle of Harold, it was a uh, Kyogre versus Groudon. I was the Groudon, and I happened to be on the losing side of that video, but go check it out nonetheless. Alright, so we're going to just go with my Xernia squad. I'm just making sure I have all my items where I need them to be, but it looks like everything's okay. I have not touched this game in a little bit due to, uh, one, I've been doing mostly uh, singles battles, trying to get to Master Ball. Two, Pokemon Unite just came out. Ooh, Palkia, Nidoqueen team. Okay, okay, I see you, Harold. But yeah, Pokemon Unite just came out, and I've been playing a ton of Pokemon Unite. But anyway, Harold, good luck, have fun. Um... Let's get into this. All right, so uh, looking at his squad, definitely, definitely thinking I might need um, Togekiss, I think. Or Togekiss for sure, and then we can go Xerneas. Um, and then I do like Volk. And how much do I like Pelipper or Ludicolo? Do I like Stilla here? Heavy Slam and Flame Thrower. I don't really have anything for... I do have uh, Volcarona. So if I go Stilla, then I can answer against his Stilla. So I like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Volcarona and Stilla in the back with Xerneas and Togekiss up front. Hey, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, so he's got Celestilla and Comfey. Okay, okay. Hey, I can respect that. That's a good lead. Especially since um, we're gonna be put. He's gonna have pressure on me because of just having that Zernia or just having that Celestilla, right? Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go forward to follow me. Geomancy and see what we can get off. But I do like his team. I like the Nido Queen as well because that gives you a Zacian, Zamazeta, Xerneas, all sorts of different counters that he's just able to just use. I mean, heck, you can counter Lecky with that. You can counter all the Tapus. I mean, so Nido Queen is a very, very nice Pokemon. All right, so you're a Heavy Slam. We should take that. Yeah, we take that. What's... And Trick Room. Okay, okay, okay. Um, a little bit unfortunate, but I think I have to go for Follow Me. Um, we have... He has it where we can Dynamax, but we will not be Dynamaxing. And uh, Follow Me, and then we're going to go for a... Uh, D-Gleam. Togekiss does hang on due to the draining kiss, so we should have some really good damage coming out here. Some very, very good chip, if anything. And now we just need to start trying to stall out your uh, trick room, basically. What? Okay, so you're getting defense, so that's, that's good. As long as you're not getting the special defense. We do not knock out your... Uh, but I think honestly that's okay. I do think that's honestly okay. So right here, I want to go ahead and set up a seed onto that. And I want to protect Xerneas. Go ahead and get some leech seed recovery from his own Celestilla would be very helpful. Hopefully he doesn't leech seed on me. He does go floral healing. Which is fine. Probably a more offensive Stilla. 
Even though he did get the defense buff. But yeah, he's definitely wanting to get the Xerneas. And I don't blame him. I do not blame you whatsoever, my man. Okay. He might be assault vested as well. This might be the time to go ahead and KO that. And then let him heavy slam into our Vocorona. Switching Xerneas out. Yes, we're losing our Geomancy, but I do think um, we're just able to frighten a little bit more by doing this play. He could burn himself with a straining kiss. That would be nice. I don't think he did. Oh, yes, he did, too. There's the flame body. It doesn't really fully matter because we're about to KO it. Have you summoned to Vogue? Go ahead, activate my flame body again, please. Oh, that's the one I wanted the flame body on, really and truthfully. But we go ahead and get rid of your confe. Wasting a couple of turns of your uh, trick room. Um, we should only have about one, maybe two more that we have to worry about. So we might be able to start putting some big damage onto your uh, Celestilla. Alright, so let's see. That's the Palkia. Okay. He said his names were a little cringy. I, I can see it. <laughs> I can definitely see it. Uh, I'm going to check the trick room turns. We got one more turn of trick room. Fantastic there. Um, honestly, I could just whirlwind your um, talk you out. But uh, are you going to heavy slam me? Hmm. Let's go into Xerneas. He could go for a dragon attack. He could go for a water attack. He could do anything, really. I mean... There's the Nido Queen. Okay, okay. So, I mean, that's a good switch on him. As it does put pressure on our Xerneas. Even though... Just going for a, a D gleam here is not the end of the world. We could do a lot of damage that he can't re fully recover off of. And he's going to have to start respecting our Celestilla anyway, because our Celestilla's practically. I, I mean, and now you got to switch him out. You know, I mean, or we're just going to be getting free um, attacks off on you. I'm okay with going for a heavy slam plus a D gleam here. Yeah, he's definitely switching out. Back into the cell still up, which is fine. Get some nice little chip on the Needle Queen. I could, it goes for Sludge Bomb. It does take out Xerneas, sadly. A little bit unfortunate there. But do we take out the Needle Queen? If if anything, do we put it in range? We don't quite do as much damage as what I was hoping for. Alright, so we're going to have to have rely on Celestilla and Volcarona in-game. At least for game one. I think for game two, I definitely need to preserve my... Um, definitely, definitely need to try and preserve my uh, Xerneas a little bit better. But, it, this is fine. We'll, uh, we'll get this going. Or at least, this is the biggest thing right now, is that we're just wanting to learn your team. See how your play style is with it and everything. And we're going to take an advantage. Maybe we can get the burn here on your um, pocket. Yeah, that would be nice, right? I mean, a little haxy, but you know, it'd be nice. Alright, but well we do land our Elite Sheet. Can I get a applaud for Celestilla? Have not missed a uh, Elite Sheet yet, which has been very, very huge so far. Because all this damage is not recoverable. So, it's very, very nice. So, Heavy Slam that. And honestly, do we just Struggle Bug? Both of them are special attackers. If he switches Stella in, it's a special attacker. 
Hydro could miss, but it doesn't. Hits our Volk. Does Volk even live? Sadly, a little bit unfortunate that it doesn't. Need a queen going for an ice beam. Okay, okay. What are we doing? I do have a special defense boost. About to get a second one. Fantastic. Is that a crit? No. Okay. I just felt like the first one didn't do as much. Alright, so Palkia's um, Leech Seed is on. There's nothing our opponent can do to stop that. It's on. There's nothing Harold could do about that. Uh, if we can set one more Leech Seed onto his Celestilla, we're in a great spot. Celestilla. <laughs> I mean, we're not out of this game by no means. We're actually in this game. Um, let's go for the Leech Seed. Go ahead and start seeding up his Celestilla. Um, if he doesn't have Leech Seed, then um, I do honestly want to say that he might actually be losing this game. Here's the Hydro Pump. It, it, hey, applaud for your Palkia, man. You're not missing a Hydro Pump, but <laughs> that's baby damage now. Alright, we go ahead and get that Seeds up. And it's nice because that's great recovery, right? There's a Heavy Slam, so that means... You probably don't have seeds, and you're probably assault vested. If I could, if if anything, you know. So, okay. Um, with the leftovers plus double seeds, Sela still is going to be recovering a lot, and it doesn't look like her. Uh, it doesn't look like Harold has much of an answer for it, for sure. I mean, what's stopping me from going for a protect here, and at least leech seeds stalling out this turn, and then we'll be back at full health. Look at that. So yeah, we'll protect, and then next turn we'll go for either Flamethrower or Heavy Slam into something. But I do feel like we got game one. And I mean, I, honestly, I, Harold, I can't wait to see what you, you're saying in your narration right now. You're probably mad, a little bit mad right now. I could see it. I could see. Because, I mean, you you took care of my uh, Xerneas, but Xerneas wasn't the fret, apparently, you know? So it's still a, the big fret. <laughs> All right, so we do have flame forward for that cell still. Cell still is not doing no damage though. So I think I, what I want to do is heavy slam the Palkia, for sure. Go ahead and get start trying to get him off the board because I mean we got flame forward for cell still all day. I don't even know if a uh, heavy slam will do that much damage. It's just might be better than Flamethrower because I don't want to fully reveal my moveset to him yet. He's still questioning what my... He missed his Hydro Pump. He's still questioning, not fully knowing what my last move on my Celestilla is. Unless, I mean, I know Harold watches my video, so he may already know it's uh, Flamethrower. And that's fine. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're over time. We're just doing more and more damage. In fact, our um, Leftovers... Hilt us up from that heavy slam. We don't even need to sleep see recovery other than just to be taking them out, taking damage from them and everything, turn by turn. I think right here, I'm just going to be heavy slamming your cell still. Uh, that way it speeds up the game. Battle is canceled. All right. That was a good game one on our part. Uh, Harold, great game. Um, let's see what he has to say. He ain't said nothing yet. I went ahead and said GG though. Play with the same rules. That's right. <laughs> Stella still. Stella still carried us in this game. Um, <laughs> hey, you gotta have the answers for Stella still as well though. I mean, your team is kind of like mine, heavy on the special attack so far, and Stella still getting the beast boost of special defense really helps me out a lot. And maybe something you might want to think about. Because I know yours was getting defense boost. Uh, every time it got the KO. Alright, so. Our opponent led um, Stella Stella and Comfey. And I'm going to leave my Stella Stella. <laughs> See if he can adapt or anything. Uh, he may want to be trying to take it out. But that's fine. Let's go Stella Stella, Togekiss. Xerneas. 
And I don't have a problem with Volcarona in the back, and then we'll just re leave our Pelipper and Ludicolo. And, um, we dealt with the Needle Queen, no problem. Serena wouldn't be a big issue. Um, and Center Roar shouldn't be that big of an issue either. I think we're fine. We'll just go with this squad, see what happens. Definitely just have to see what happens, but... Um, we're going to be leading a little different. I'm not going to give you my Xerneas so easy in this game, too. Alright, so, you're leading Nido Queen and Confei. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll lead Stilla and Togekiss. And I'm sure he's seeing Stilla thinking, crap. <laughs> but, um, we'll definitely just throw a Heavy Slam your way. And I don't mind actually going for a D Gleam. Just a Break Sash. Yeah, that's fine. D Gleam to Break Sash, Break um, Just anything. He actually withdrawing his Akumfe in for Incineroar John Cena. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice name. Um, he intimidates, so that. You would think that would weaken the power of my uh, Heavy Slam. Deagling does come off. Breaks potential Sash on Nita Queen because I don't, I don't even know what its item is yet. Um, and then you go for Sludge Bomb into Togekiss. That's, that's not fine. That was a crit though. Oh wow. Okay, okay. Harold, I see you playing that way. You're playing a little dirty. Playing a little dirty. Okay, okay. Harold, I, uh, I, I can't allow that. You're not allowed to do that. Um, we'll go into Volk. Because I need Volk on the field. And we can... I need Volk to eventually help set up the... Um, Xerneas. That we're switching in right now. And then we'll just struggle bug this turn. So he could be, the reason I didn't switch Xerneas in right now, because he could easily just go for a fake out, he'd go for Sludge Bomb or something. This way, you're not going to be Sludge Bombing into a Celestilla slot. I mean, you can fake out Volcarona all day, that's fine. Earth Power, also into Volk. Our, Vol our Volcarona is pretty bulky, so we'll take it. We'll take that combo. Alright. So... We can't stop our Geomancy. We know you have the Comfey in the back. Unless you didn't bring Ponkia, you have Celestilla in the back. Which, you probably, I, I would assume that you brought Ponkia. Which therefore will eat, hopefully be able to get an easy uh, Geomancy plus D-Gleams off. Shouldn't be an issue at that point. But this is why I think Xerneas teams are going to be so busted in Series 10. Because, especially teams like this, where you have Celestilla as well. Because Celestilla covers up for any of the weaknesses that you um, that you potentially do have with Xerneas. Like, that, that's a parting shot into my Vogue. That's a Sludge Bomb also into my Vogue. Vogue's still around. I got one more Rage Power I can go into. So, hey, I'm looking good. I can easily throw a big D gleam into that Nido Queen's face, and it's not gonna feel good for it. It'll definitely be a two hit KO. Who is this? That's so you didn't bring your restricted. Okay, okay, I see you. I do not like my board position the best though, because I was playing as if he uh, had Palkia, but he actually doesn't bring his restricted. So this makes this a little bit tougher, but. I still think we go for um, Rage Powder plus D Gleam. Nice. That's a nice Y guard there. It's a good play. I, I mean, I honestly thought your cell still, according to game one, would have been uh, Assault Fested. So definitely changing things up on me a little bit. I'll see you. i see you. What's your Nido Queen wanting, wanting to do here? Sludge Bomb. Yeah, that's pretty fair. 
Uh, Xerni is having a um, special defense boost. I'm not too, too worried about the Nita Queens so much, but I am worried about yourself still. I'm worried more of the fact that I haven't got a single KO in game two yet, and I'm about to lose, <laughs> is what I'm worried about. All right, so if you want to do that same play, we can let you all day. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and heavy slam. If you want a wide guard, be my guest. You didn't know. I wish you did actually. How much are we doing? That's good. That's good chip. That's what it is though. Is it's nothing but chip. Yeah, we do take that, but we will not take a heavy slam. Um. Okay, we don't get the KO. Heavy slam will come out. We do not take this. Xerneas is down. Alright. Biggest thing is, I gotta get my special defense boost. And then we'll start seeding. I need to get these two KOs really quickly, though. I'm relying on my leftovers as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and seed the uh, still predicting that his um, Nita Queen either switch or protect. Alright, there's the Insan. That's fine. We're not really worried about like our full on damage output. Ooh, switching, double switching into Comfey as well. Okay. Now, I, for, I do believe Comfey is just a um, fairy type. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm, a, I'm expecting a fake out, but there's not much that Comfey can do, right? So we're just going to heavy slam into Confe. If you fake out, you fake out. But I'm expecting a Flare Blitz as well that you could easily go for. Ensign was a great bring on our opponent's part, though, because it does threaten a big Flare Blitz at us. So Harold, you actually did do a very good job adjusting. In game two, at least. Um... Very, very good job. You've actually played very almost perfect in game two. I wouldn't, um, but you still have not taken out Sin yet, or not Sin. Ah, uh, so still, uh, this may be doing it though. That's a lot of damage. I don't know if I can fully. I don't think I can. I think uh, Harold got this game because one more flare blitz, I'm gonna go down. There's not much. I didn't. I didn't get the KO either, which I wasn't expecting that. Alright, looks like we're going to be going to game number three. This is actually getting intense. I'm practically not allowed to use my Xerneas, but I still have to respect who he has. And I have to bring it, right? Because, I mean, if he brings Pakia and I'm unprepared for it, then I'm in trouble. You know, so I have to respect the Pakia. Even though he didn't bring it, I still have to respect it. Because you know he wants to bring it. But I'm honestly thinking about changing it up completely for game free. I'm actually uh, going to be leading Rain. I haven't brought Rain yet this whole time. We're going to be bringing our Rain squad to lead. And then in the back, I want Celestilla and I want Xerneas. Togekiss and Volcarona both have done minimum work. Both could be very good, but I mean, I honestly think rain needs to happen in this game too, or game three, um, for us to win because he's definitely not going to be expecting a rain lead, especially since we didn't bring it at all. If I was, if I was him, I would be thinking about an Ensign and a Cafe lead or an Ensign Palkia lead. But I would imagine Ensign would be leading game number three. I don't know. We'll just have to find out, though, for sure. But yeah, he brought the, he brought game two back. He did. But he won't be happy seeing so still is in the back after we get rid of some of the more threatening Pokemons on your squad. Nido Queen, Confe. Okay, that's fine. So what we want to do... 
is that we're definitely threatening that Nito Queen, and he knows that right now. Um, he didn't bring Pocky last game. He brought Ensign, and he brought Celestilla. Okay, so what we definitely need to do here is I think you um, break the kind of face potential sash with the Scald, and then you go for Muddy Water. Have Ludicolo go for Muddy Water. Uh, this could probably potentially even KO the Nita Queen here. Fantastic. That's what I wanted to see. Ludicolo's. This one has life orb, so this one hits like a truck. Um, and then there's the Kunfei down. So Nita Queen and Kunfei went down a little bit. We kind of prepped him for him thinking that we wouldn't bring rain at all. And then in game three, we actually bring it. We prepped him a little bit for that. Um, Celestilla and John Cena. So he didn't even bring his, um, he didn't bring his restricted again. That's fine. All right. So at this point, really and truthfully, I feel like we got this. I, I felt like game one was such, or turn one was such a great turn for us. Um, he could easily go for a fake out. Uh, if he does, he does. I'll encore him next turn. I mean, you probably... I don't know who you would be going into anyway. You might fake out into the looty. That's fine. Air Slash? Do you have Air Slash? You do have Air Slash. Okay. Looty does take it. So right here we just scald the Celestilla. We encore John Cena, the instant roar. You're going for Y Guard. Y Guard's not going to be doing nothing for you this turn, my man. There's the encore. Ensign's pretty much a sit and duck at this point. I feel like we're kind of being a bully, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. Doing a lot of damage with Oliver. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. We'll just continue. Go for Muddy Water. Uh, he could go for Y Guard. Battle's canceled. We had way too much pressure on. <laughs> Harold, thanks for the best of free, man. That was fun. That was very fun. Um, game free definitely went Pelipper, Ludicolo. They had you in Game free, and that was really kind of fun. But um, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is uh, Wi Fi Merman signing out. Peace.